and it's the first time I've seen so many comments calling traders bottom feeders who do not contribute to society. Day trading can be very exciting and make you a lot of money, but does it add any value to society? 2020 and 2021 are two very interesting years for traders in the stock market. We have more and more people drawn to the market after losing their jobs or because they are part of the great resignation. They decided to quit the corporate jobs and fly solo to explore what they can do for themselves without the iron grasp of big corporations. Never have elements such as passion, fulfillment, contribution to society been such important considerations for evaluating career choices. And never have I gotten so many emails or comments about is day trading fulfilling and does it add any value to society? And for me, as a former traditional 9 to 7 job escapee who jumped ship to start a full time day trading career, this was definitely an interesting question that really got me thinking for the last couple of months. In this video, I want to have a critical discussion about day trading with you guys. Let's evaluate everything, comparing my former 9 to 7 career versus day trading. And I'll be grading them based on the three main questions, which is fulfilling, financially or spiritually, and most importantly, which path adds more value back to society. And let me tell you, not every career is getting straight A's on this exam. What a shame. By the end of this video, you'll be able to decide whether this journey of day trading is worth it for you to continue on. Or perhaps you may think that no amount of money to the moon is ever fulfilling enough for you. I think the most fulfilling thing I've ever done, no, it's not day trading, or even driving my Lamborghini, it's smashing that like button. Whether the market is going up or down or sideways to nowhere, the like button is always there to accompany me through the good and the tough times. And especially when my ex-husband won't call me back. So a little bit of background about me, before getting into a full time day trading career, I've definitely had a whole range of different jobs and different career experiences. I've been a part time dishwasher at Tim Hortons, and I've also sold movie tickets at AMC theaters. Okay, just kidding, I wasn't that cool. We only have Cineplex here in Canada. But besides part-time retail jobs, I've also worked full-time as a graphic designer and VFX artist. And after going through all of these spectrum of positions and definitely a lot of different pay scale, I would say that there are three pillars that you should consider when evaluating your job and whether a career is worth it for you to enter or keep. This definitely applies to day trading. These three pillars are financial compensation, value add to society, and self-fulfillment. Let's talk about the first pillar, financial compensation. It's the number one reason why people are drawn to the stock market and why people want to learn about day trading, to make money and expand their income potential. So in terms of evaluating my former career based on the first pillar, financial compensation, my former career in VFX started out low but gradually became better over time as I gained more experience and network in the field. However, it was just not very stable, and there is definitely a ceiling on the earning potential. So out of a scale of 1 to 10 for financial compensation, I would give my former career in VFX a 6 out of 10. Around the same time I started working in VFX, I also started to learn to day trade on the side as well. And it was my part time hustle starting in my early 20s. I was young and I figured I only had so little to lose financially. But what I had was time. I had the time, especially in between my VFX contracts, to really learn to day trade. And I would just be paper trading or trading with very little accounts of risk, such as $10 or $50. 
Fast forward many years later, all the hard work had paid off. Because of trading, along with my savings for my job and living frugally, I was able to quit my 9 to 7 job, pay off all my student loans debt, and purchase my first home in 2016. When you are day trading full time as a career, your earning potential is no longer capped by the number of hours you could work, but by whether you have the skills to capitalize on the market opportunities. And for that reason, for the financial compensation pillar, I will give day trading a 10 out of 10. In my opinion, just evaluating based on the first pillar, day trading definitely trumps my former 9 to 7 job. Remember to follow along here and let me know how your job compares to day trading for each of the pillars. Now let's move on to evaluating the second pillar of career satisfaction, value add to society. Let's start off with day trading this time. Does day trading add any value to society? Let's be real. There is a zero, zero. There is a zero percent chance that day trading adds any value to society. Come on, let's be real and honest here. The act of buying and selling security assets within minutes, hours, or sometimes even days or weeks does not lead to any productivity for the society. And it does not provide any substantial capital for company growth. You could probably argue that trading helps with price discovery, but the funds are in and out of these assets just riding the price fluctuations. And as traders, we treat these stocks as trading vehicles, not truly as investments for value growth long term that could actually help stimulate the economy. Yes, it is true that Wall Street, the big funds, they've been doing this for decades. Now with a rise in the popularity in retail trading during the pandemic, it's the first time we're seeing some meaningful discussions, debating whether retail trading is just as evil as the big hedge funds. As I've seen the growth of this YouTube channel since the start of 2020, there's no doubt that there's more and more retail money pouring into the market. And it's the first time I've seen so many comments calling traders bottom feeders who do not contribute to society. But take a moment to think about this. Was adding value to society really the goal of this whole retail movement? Or was it simply to even the playing field? So you and I, retail traders and investors, finally could get a substantial piece of the pie of the first pillar, financial compensation. And the same people who called retail traders bottom feeders, what are they doing watching a video about AMC or GameStop then? Are they not themselves trying to make more money? Everyone wants to see their meme stocks go to the moon, right? Is it so these companies can add more value back to society? Or so the retail investors or traders can make more money? I don't have perfect answers to any of those questions, but on a scale of 1 to 10 when evaluating the true value add to society, I'll give day trading a 0, and my former career in VFX an 8. Feel free to share your critical thoughts on how you would grade your career and day trading in the comment section below. The third pillar we're evaluating on is personal fulfillment. I'd like to acknowledge that being concerned about whether your current career is fulfilling or adds any value to society is extremely privileged. I certainly recognize that. And if you're in a similar situation, I hope you could reach the same realization too. Right out of college, I was struggling to pay the rent in Los Angeles. I wasn't in a situation to be concerned about my personal fulfillment back then. I just wanted to be able to keep the floors to put the mattress on. 
Over the years, yes, I did slowly work up my salary over time, and one could definitely argue that my job in VFX was way more productive and contributes a lot more to society, since I was creating movies and TV shows for everyone's entertainment. And so big corporations like Disney or Paramount could make more money on merchandise. But hey, that's a conversation for another time. Like I mentioned in this video, I was extremely unhappy working my job. The long hours, the dark, dark work environment, and the negative and sometimes even hostile work culture in the industry. I remember that I never made so much money and be so miserable at the same time. And for that reason, I'm gonna give my former career in VFX a 2 on personal fulfillment. Consider this, is it really worth sacrificing your mental and physical health to keep doing a career that sure could pay quite well and perhaps contribute more to society? Answer this question for yourself, don't let anyone else answer this for you. And for me, it was not worth it. Now let's take a step back and look at a few other common careers, teachers, engineers, and doctors. I respect teachers a lot. My very own mother, Mama Humboldt, was a teacher. But I also know that she did not get paid enough. She is one of the many teachers who are passionate about teaching kids and helping to shape the future adults of tomorrow. They are very fulfilled personally and definitely add a lot of value to society. But guess what? In expensive cities like Vancouver or San Francisco, unfortunately they do not make enough to afford to live there. Many teachers I know have to live quite far away from the metro area and find the two hour commute in and out of work extremely draining on their physical health. On the other hand, we can take a look at doctors or engineers. I respect what they do, and yes, they do deserve to get paid a lot. But I also know many people who only got into those fields for the money, and not truly because they are passionate or fulfilled about this career. So how do we resolve this then? Because it seems so difficult to find a perfect career that truly satisfies all three important job satisfaction pillars. In my opinion, what you do for work as a career does not have to be the only way to achieve all three of the pillars. It would be great if it does, but the reality is that's rarely the case. If your current job excels in one or two of the pillars, it's worth it to find other outlets outside of your job to fulfill the missing pieces. While day trading started out as a missing financial compensation for my former 9 to 7 career, it gradually became more and more fulfilling personally. Like I mentioned in a previous video, day trading changed my life. It helped me reach financial freedom and make me a better person on the inside and outside. And where the career of day trading lacks in value add to society, that's where we traders can make the personal and important decision to give back. Consider sponsoring a child in a less privileged country, so they can have access to nutritious food, clean drinking water, and education. Consider donating blood and support natural disaster relief. Remember, as traders, we can give back with our money and our time. Both of these are something I strive to do regularly in my personal life, outside of trading and outside of social media. Day trading could be a very rewarding career. If you are one of the many working hard for this journey, once you reach the top, don't forget to send the elevator back down. If you watch this video till the very end, please leave the word value in the comment section below. This video is a bit different and involves more critical thinking from everyone. And I'd really love to see how many stay till the very end. And let me know your opinions on all three pillars we talked about today. Do you think your current job satisfies all three of the criteria? And what about day trading? What does it mean for you? Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching as always. I'm the Humble Trader, and I'll see you guys next time.